hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today so guys in this video we are going to be making this lovely boo boo dress you see me putting on i'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful dress for yourself as you can see this dress is very very beautiful and comfy and i'm very excited wearing this dress and believe me when i tell you this is the easiest project you can carry out as a sewing student or a sewing beginner so guys let's dive right into the video so guys we are going to be using this fabric to make this dress and we'll need a uh, office pin marking chalk and your ruler so the most difficult thing about making a booboo dress is folding it and i'm going to show you how you can easily fold your fabric so we are going to fold our fabric into four okay and the first thing we want to do is to open it and fold from the wrong side so you fold it into two like this into two equal parts so you're going to be needing about two to three in and uh, yards of fabric depending on how big you are for me i used two inches i mean two yards of fabric for mine okay so after folding it into two i'm going to fold it again to make it into four because we're going to be cutting the front and the back panel of this booboo dress together okay like i said the most difficult part is folding it because of the nature of the fabric but if you are using an ankara fabric it's pretty easy to fold it's only when you are using all this silky kind of fabric that it gets really difficult to fold okay so i've been able to fold my fabric into four and that's what you're going to do for yours as well and after doing that i just went ahead to pin my fabric in place because this fabric you see here is very silky and it was moving a lot that's why i needed to fold and um, to pin it down so after that i just marked a straight line on the shoulder line just like this so that this can guide uh, my other measurement okay so after that i marked a neck width of three inches okay on that shoulder line and a neck depth of three inches as well so this totally depends on how you want your neckline to be if you want it wider you can go um 3.5 or 4 inches and you want if you want the neckline lower you can also use about 3 to 4 inches depending on how you want it okay so after doing that i just connected my neckline with um, my chalk and i'm marking two inches downwards from the shoulder line for the shoulder slope you know i always mark one inch or half an inch for my shoulder slope but because this is a booboo dress i decided to use two inches so that the shoulder will sit properly or sit very well because we are the sleeve and the dress is going to be attached together okay so after that i went ahead and added more pins to my fabric because this fabric is very very silky all right so after doing that i just cut out my neckline and i'm going to cut out the shoulder line from the shoulder slope just like this okay and after that i'm just going to cut on the side so i've just measured what i have and i was okay with it if you want it to be smaller you can reduce it if you want it to be bigger you can use more fabric like i said i used two inch and um, two yards of fabric to make mine so depending on your body size you would either need two yards or two and a half or three inches to make your own booboo dress okay so after marking everything after cutting the sides i'm going to go ahead and measure the full length i want for my booboo dress okay so for mine i use the full length of 60 inches so you have to also take your body measurements to know the exact length you're going to be needing for your booboo -boo dress okay so like i said mine was 60 inches after i got that i just cut this out and then i'll trim off the side to make the side smooth and straight okay
all right so after that is done this is what i have for my booboo -boo dress i'm just going to go ahead and pull off the pins i used to hold this fabric in place all right and once that is done i'll just go ahead and open up the fabric to show you so you see how our dress see how it looks already look at the neckline like i said you can decide what you want with your neckline okay so i'm going to use this bias tape i have to turn the neckline inside out i'll place the bias tape on the front side of my dress and stitch on it first then i'll flip it to the wrong side and stitch it down and once i did that i have this you can see the neckline has been stitched and neatly covered with the bias tape and you see how nice it looks okay so this is what i have all right so i'm going to place the front and the back panels together and i'll stitch the shoulder with half an inch when i take it to my sewing machine but before i do that i just want to mark out the opening from where how wide i want the armhole to be okay so you can just decide to do if you want you can make the armhole very wide if you want you can make it small okay what i did for mine i just made it about um six inches it's not really the armhole per se it's just the the opening of the sleeve all right so if you want it wide you can make it wide if you want it short you can make it short okay so i just made mine about six inches and i'll make a notch on that point and i will stitch the shoulders together and then hem around the from the shoulder down to the point where i notched okay so i'm just trying to close the sleeve opening so once that is done you can see i've done that already and i'm just going ahead to stitch the sides of this booboo -boo dress from the top down to the bottom of the dress so i'm just going to do that to the two sides like i said it's very very easy to make this booboo -boo dress so once i'm done stitching the sides of the booboo -boo dress i'm going to go ahead and hem the lower part and guys that's just it on how to make a booboo -boo dress so see what it looks like on me do well to try this out and if you do don't forget to share with me on instagram okay thank you so much for watching this video until next time bye for now and subscribe if you haven't already okay and don't forget to also give this video a huge huge thumbs up thank you bye